2023. A new year for us all. And a new year for Path of Titans as well. But what exactly should you expect in the new year? But wait, everybody, just an announcement. I'm of course wearing that top that you all like to claim is not a top. It's it, 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 it seems to blend in for you all. And you seem to always think that it's not actually a top. But yes, look, it is a top. It exists it's real. Okay, now we can get back to this. I'm going over what there is to call me in Path of Titans in 2023, as well as some things that I think are coming to the game, and officially known stuff that are coming to the game as well. The developers easily outlined all of this for us all, and I'm going to go into it with a bit more depth. Timestamps for everything are on the screen now, and if you are new, feel free to subscribe. But other than that, let's get into it. <laughs> The biggest and the first mechanical change is through combat. Now, of course, the devs listed all of this in no particular order, so this could be coming back the end of the year. We don't actually know. However, it was the first one outlined. And, um, well, what do we know that is coming regarding combat changes and updates? So, let's go over what we exactly can expect. The key goal of the developers with these changes is is to ensure every single dinosaur has some kind of unique mechanic, niche or combat ability which sets it apart from other dinosaurs. This will include brand new combat mechanics, group utilities, buffs and other stuff like that. They emphasise this further by saying that the environment will affect the dinosaurs as well so you're likely to see night hunters, weather affecting certain species, terrain types and so much more. This leaves a wide open door for pretty much what the developers can do with combat updates in this game whether it's for passive abilities support abilities or full-on combat abilities their aim here is to make every single dinosaur have at least one unique mechanic and utilize the full breadth of the different slots that you can fill out the nine different slots that you could technically fill out for your abilities their aim is probably to fully emphasize that additionally in 2023 you'll be able to change your dinosaur subspecies from the home cave which is actually a really cool idea it saves you filling your whole dinosaur list with multiple different subspecies of the same dinosaur now you'll just be able to have the one and you can interchange it as time goes however i would feel like there will be a mark you know cost when changing the subspecies of your dinosaur. There will also be UI improvements as well which will help in this update, and they are specifically for stuff like this. Detailing exactly what each ability is, what it does, how it affects your dinosaur in full length and breadth. Character creation screen will do a better job at describing what each dinosaur species' strengths and weaknesses are. There's a lot to be excited for from the combat updates and of course I cannot wait for it. However, the update that I think you all can't wait for is the quest improvement. <laughs> This was briefly mentioned in the 2023 dev blog. The improvement of quests is something that I think everybody is looking forward to and something that will help everybody in the game, allowing you to play with more variety and do open-ended quests and level up after you're maybe completed your growth. In fact, questing being improved will bring this. More goals, more achievements, unlockable features, the aim of pushing the gameplay loop into a robust open growth and leveling system, which is pretty cool actually because then it indicates that there'll be something to do after you've completed a growth stage or after you've grown up. There'll be more rewards for exploring the world as well with quests, growth and marks for discovering rare items and locations and of course more achievements so maybe that means more rewards for your home cave, maybe more skins, maybe some unique combat mechanics that you can only get from exploring certain areas as well. This will be a jam-packed update. They were aiming to jam-pack areas with as much stuff to do as there is. Like, that is the big ultimate goal here, to fill the world with a lot to do, to allow you to explore it and all that jazz. This is probably one of the most exciting parts because it's a very pivotal part of the game. We've seen a glimpse of this on the PTB, dinosaur updates. In fact, we've already seen the Ceratosaurus and Metriacanthosaurus updates, which I have overviewed in this video on the screen, and I do recommend you check it out. Now, we have more dinosaur improvements to come. In fact, the Ceratosaurus and Metriacanthosaurus updates will probably come this year, and will probably come very soon. 
and these improvements will include updated locomotion and ultimately tying into the combat updates with combat changes, model improvements and stuff like that. After Serato and Metri are done, you can actually look forward to some other dinosaurs as well. This includes Concavenator and Alio Ramus. Concavenator has actually been teased by Jiggy, one of the lead developers, which showcases the side-by-side -side comparison of the heads of the dinosaurs. Here's the before face, it's smooth, it's like a baby face, it doesn't really have too much detail to it. However, the new one looks great, it looks more like a Carcharodontosaur or an Allosaur, and it looks really nice overall, you can see there's more detail along on it the neck s curve has kind of been more pronounced but the actual curve of the neck is less pronounced which i know that sounds a little bit weird to say but it doesn't go as straight up and it kind of leans forward a little bit you can see the detailing on the neck as well and i feel like the whole body of this dinosaur will have changed from every single subspecies in fact we know that every single subspecies has had a change and i feel like the biggest change will come to that little sail on the back of the dinosaur the little spike stop right there we actually have an update to the Concavenator, and it's on the PTB right now. I've made this video, which is on the screen as well, for you to go and check out, which overviews this whole update. But of course, once you've watched that, you can get back to this at 6 minutes and 18 seconds for all you to keep an eye on. But let's get back into what's coming to Path of Titans in 2023. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts about this in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. I'll review these as soon as they come out. So if you are new and want to be kept in the loop for this stuff, feel free to subscribe because we'll be covering them straight away. Anyways, let's get into the next part and that is game modes and the replay tool. The game modes and the replay tool will be coming in Path of Titans in 2023. We saw a glimpse of game modes last year, so let's talk about them. So, with game modes, we'll get a team deathmatch game mode this year. This game mode will allow for a team-based killing field, essentially. You can gain points by killing players on the other team, and the team with the most points at the end of the round wins. To add to this, you'll also be able to do multi-team battles with up to four teams by the looks of the teaser image, and so so it's pretty cool. Even after this game mode is introduced to the game, modders will then be able to mod in their own game mode. So maybe in the future we'll be able to get our own dinosaur among us. We also will have a replay tool that will be coming to the game as well. This is essentially the tool that the developers use to film their trailers and stuff like that when they use in-game footage. And they said that in the dev blog. This tool allows you to record videos in game, then go back and watch them. It looks like by the teaser that was shown, you might be able to flick between different characters or even go into free cam, which is going to be pretty cool. I like the idea of that. It'll be awesome that you're going to be able to create your own videos with the tools that the developers will use themselves. I'm excited for this one because I feel like a lot of you guys in the community are waiting to express your masterpieces that you are waiting to make. I can't wait to see the first wildlife documentaries for Path of Titans made by you guys. Anyways, let's get into some things that I think will be coming to the game in 2023 as well. There'll be new dinosaurs in 2023, no doubt. I mean, they didn't mention it in the dev blog, However, why would they mention what dinosaurs are coming to the game? Last year, we saw five dinosaurs get released and two more creatures getting released, a flyer and an aquatic. I feel like we're going to see seven or more this year as well. However, I do feel like the combat and quest updates might take the centre ground, but I know the developers like to release creatures alongside big updates. Firstly, we actually have the last three dinosaurs to release, not excluding the mystery dinosaur. However, we know that Miragaya, Achillobator and Microraptor will be coming to the game. I think they'll be coming this year. And I also think to fill in that void of the fourth dinosaur for a dinosaur pack, the mystery dinosaur will be included in that pack as well. So I think that will be coming this year as well. However, those won't be coming first. We actually know or have a good guess of what is coming first, and that is these. Your Hinosaurus will be the next aquatic creature to come to the game, and we already know about that. Additionally, Hatsigopteryx will be the next flying creature to come to the game, as we also already know about that, because they're in the same pack as Kaiwekia and Phalasodromius. But I do think there'll be more. 
There were seven creatures released last year, and so far we only have uh, about six, and that leaves one more, maybe an extra one, if you want to go better than last year as well. I feel like Ramphorhynchus will come after Hatsigopteryx, and that completes all the flyers if you're going to exclude Microraptor. And then you'll have either Tylosaurus and Lidicphys released this year as well. Then I feel like they're done with that stuff. The dinosaurs, the creatures, the aquatics, the flyers, I think they'll be done with that and maybe once the game is then done, they'll start focusing on new creatures. However, the game won't be complete without one other feature and that is nesting. Nesting wasn't mentioned in the 2023 dev blog, however, even one of the developers said that technically what's not in it it still has a chance of coming out. You know that dinosaurs are excluded from it, but we're gonna get dinosaurs anyways. Someone asked Matt about this and his response was this. Blog post just outlines a few of the upcoming stuff. Doesn't confirm that it isn't coming in 2023. But can we take this seriously? Matt's been known to be a troller and a little bit sarcastic at some times. Or he's known to be very straight to the point. So we don't actually know whether to take this one literally. However, I would hazard a guess that if nesting does come to the game, it'll be coming at the back end of 2023, September to December. And once that's done, the game will be technically complete. Once the combat improvements, quest improvements, nesting, game modes, all of them are released, the last creatures are released, the game's ready for a full public release and comes out of beta. However, I've outlined what would be in nesting in a previous video and I definitely recommend you check it out. We talked about what we know so far and we also talked about what I think will be coming to it as well in the system. And it's a very interesting video and I also laid out a prediction there, same as this one. Surprise, surprise. Anyways guys, let me know your thoughts about nesting. Do you think it's going to come this year or do you not? I'd love to know what you think. And there we have it. Everything to be excited for for Path of Times in 2023 as well as some theories on my end. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.